Hi everyone, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mataji. I welcome Abhipraj Jain over here. He is a senior surveyor in Lloyds. I passed out from Talani Maritime Institute. Did just two sailings, then decided merchanting is not for me. Today he is doing damn good in a controlling position, surveying ships, finding out plus, recommending them, continuously studying and doing a lot of stuff. But this video is important for every naval architecture out there, a person who wants to pursue naval architect because Abhipraj years back when he quit sailing, he did his naval architect, naval architect course from UK. So we will know about this naval architecture course. Why did it do from UK and not from India? What are the challenges? Most importantly, after doing a naval architecture course, what all are the job opportunities that you have in India and in UK and how you can pursue them? Welcome, Abhivraj. Thank you very much for joining on the YouTube channel. Thank you, Praneet. Uh, so thank you once again, Praneet, for having me here. I personally, in my case, it was uh, quite challenging to give an entrance exam in India to prepare for it. And then you have only few number of seats available in the prestigious colleges wherein you can uh, possibly think of getting in and pursuing this course. Uh, that was one uh, reason of not doing it, it in India. And the second reason was that the course was for about two years of duration, a master's degree course which we all know is more or less like in India. Uh, having said that, in uh, other countries, um, like in UK, the course is for one year. And uh, the entrance is basically through your uh, undergrads uh, marks and undergrads uh, uh, grades, which you have received. And once, if you, uh, if you are coming into that uh, variant of uh, being able to enter the course, then, then you just have to pay the fee and... Uh, you can start the process and other countries which i believe like in canada or other places it's around uh, one and a half years duration so uh, all in all what i was trying to say and why i did it outside india was because of the duration of the course of course you have to pay slightly more money or quite a lot of money to do this course but then if time is what you're looking for then probably doing it outside india is a good way to do it Okay, so once you have done a naval architecture course, what all opportunities do you have? So uh, after doing naval architect, uh, mostly uh, people think that you know they would be designing ships. Uh, of course, that's that's something which a naval architect can do. But other than other than that, a naval architect can also work like a consultant to a company, wherein uh, you know suppose the company is uh, new or had been doing other sort of uh, productions in their firm and then they are trying to do something new within the marine field or they had been in the marine field but they are trying to create a new project so a naval architect can work as a marine consultant in a firm wherein he would advise as to how the project should go uh, at what stages what should be required if there is anything which is technically wrong in the drawings etc so uh, a marine consultancy can be uh, a, a, a thing to do, um, you know, definitely like me, surveying ships is another. Uh, now surveying is, is uh, it comes with different kind of surveying. One can be class related surveying, another could be PNI surveying, uh, another thing could be a cargo surveying. Now we would think why a cargo survey would need naval architecture knowledge is because you would know that how a bulk carrier uh, is designed. Uh, that's what you, we will study during naval architecture. How an oil tanker is designed. What what can be different components to look for when you're doing these kind of surveying. Uh, other than that, um, you know, you can join as an structural engineer uh, in in a company where uh, people do finite element analysis. You know, basically structural analysis, which is also a basic requirement while designing ships. So. A team normally, when when uh, there is a ship designing firm, they have different components in a designing firm. One is only doing structural analysis. Another one is only doing the calculations. And another one is only uh, doing, for exam uh, example, uh, the you know lighting weight calculations, tonnage calculations, etc. So in these kind of uh, firms, uh, naval architecture can work uh, like a uh, structural engineer. Uh, and uh, subsea engineering, you know, hydrodynamics, all these are um, uh, common areas which a naval architect uh, knows. And uh, these kind of uh, 
places a naval architect can also work so what do we as a uh, naval architect do you get more opportunities in india or in abroad so i just put my point first because i am like an amateur out here so if a naval architecture wants a job in a shipyard you know in india you hardly have any shipyard or ships are being built maybe you'll have to go to china korea in places like these like or even in japan so if you are not into designing if you are as a consultant then also you'll find opportunities hong kong dubai singapore but yeah. doubt you'll find in india yes in survey you have irs where you might get a job yeah. and that is the one option that i know now you tell me with my limited knowledge where all you can add and um, i think uh, in india there are a lot of options after okay. you have finished your naval architect yeah after you have finished your finish your naval architecture because in the last 9 uh, 10 years i've seen a few firms which were uh, you know babies at 10 years ago and now they are big firms in india and uh, these firms are doing hardcore ship designing and uh, calculations um and so basically designing can be done anywhere in any part of the world and that designing can be used to make a ship in another part of the world which is also happening in india and also within india so we have some prestigious shipyards in india where the designing firm and you know everything is done locally so shipyards i think all the shipyards definitely require naval architects because whenever we are doing any repair work at a shipyard a naval architect comes into place a structural engineer comes into place and he is the one who would make sure what thickness of steel would go here if we are doing a modification if we are repairing what sort of steel etc we should be putting here whether we can modify our structure etc and also basic load calculations before the ship enters the dry dock leaves the dry dock ship stability has to be taken into consideration wherein also structural engineers plays a major part and this was good to know that there are some major firms maybe i'll know later and i can put that in the comment section somebody sure, yeah i can share with you the firm names yes yeah, i will put that in the comment section if somebody asks but what i'm saying is this is great that even if the shipyard is in china they can ask an indian firm ki you do the yes. thing for us and send us so it works both ways so even if you're in india or in the yes. but still if we take uh, do you think that opportunities are more abroad than in india um it's it's hard to tell because if if you see my experience i have unfortunately never worked in india so if for me it's hard to tell but i on daily basis i am uh, you know talking to different people who are in india you know this is during the work and things have been designed in india calculations have been done in india and the ships are being made in india so <laughs> that that gives me that uh, you know uh, conclusion that yes we are doing things in house and uh, uh, it is possible and i would personally suggest uh, someone who is doing a naval architecture from india to work in india before looking to work abroad because the the way uh, firms are working and training people in india that builds up a good base line to work somewhere else in the world so So this thank you abhipray thank you for answering this very good question because many naval architects have asked me this question or those who wanted to pursue and i would ap- apologetically say i just said don't do this is ka koi future nahi i have said this so that is why when i was okay. making detailed video with you on the life of a surveyor you talked about naval architects and we have to make this video because even i want this knowledge and through this video thank you very much abhipray if any more comments comments come please we will be honored if you can help us answering those queries so that at least this um, people out there in the industry who want to uh, shift their gears to another channel they can do the right way thank you right. thank you very sure. much i'll be more than obliged thank you